A report from the United Nations says the violence in Somalia last month alone left almost 260 civilians dead and 80,000 people homeless. The deadliest month in the African country since August of last year. And the figures come as Al-Shabaab fighters have confirmed their allegiance to Al-Qaeda. Joining me now to talk about this is Dr. Afiare Elmi, a lecturer in international politics and Somalia expert at Qatar University. Let's try and put this into some kind of context, Doctor, if, if we can. Al-Shabaab have said they want to unify all uh, the Islamist forces in Somalia. That includes al-Qaeda. Who else might it include? Well, actually, there are two issues here. One is the merger between the two Islamist organizations, uh, Hezbollah Islam and al-Shabaab. And the other one is the claim that, or perhaps the expressive intention of al-Shabaab to join uh, al-Qaeda. Uh, and in that statement, they say that they want to link uh, al-Shabaab and the Horn of Africa Jihad to the global network which is led by Osama bin Laden. This is by far the clearest uh, statement that they have given so far. So I think this is the two things. Both are not the mergers, but one is co-option of another uh, movement, and the other one is statement of intent. Uh, in other words, expressing intent to join al -Qaeda. And then we have to examine uh, whatever of these things actually happens, whether al-Shabaab actually has enough influence either to make it come to pass or to uh, worry other people? Well, at the moment, what is important is that uh, they have this intention, at least for the international community and for uh, other national stakeholders uh, for the issues. And I think this will have huge implications both for, for, for al-Shabaab, for the international community and for other domestic stakeholders. If we're talking about uh, what they call the jihad in the Horn of Africa, and Somalia would seem to be the country which is, which is probably the most fragile, in that area with, with all of these groups that you talk about. Uh, what would you expect international reaction to be to the fact that these forces are gathering there? I, I think uh, this will give uh, the international community an opportunity because at least Americans and others were arguing for some time that Al-Shabaab is a proxy for Al-Qaeda. Now they seem to be vindicated and also the Somali government was making the same claim, which means that uh, this might change uh, the international community's rhetorical support to a genuine support for the uh, government. Uh, let me just give you an example on this. Uh, uh, Secretary General's report, UN Secretary General's report released last week says that uh, 213 million pledged, only 3 million was dispersed to the uh, government. I think this will be an opportunity uh, both for the international community and for the government simply because this gives the excuses or at least the reasons why the international community should be involved. Okay, so financially and um, perhaps practically they, they might then decide uh, to go and back the, the, the government on this. And would they also get back those groups which are fighting against al-Shabaab, I, I dug the name out of one here, you can tell me whether it matters, but it's been in the news. Akhlu Sunnah, bitterly opposed to al-Shabaab. Uh, it's signed a formal agreement to cooperate militarily uh, with the government. Now, is that significant at all? Well, it has significance for uh, its own sake, but I think for this, uh, I don't know how it can be linked because they are two opposing groups. But, but I suppose what I'm trying to drive and get at is, is are there lots of different groups that could be backed by the government who could then take on these other forces? Yes, and uh, let me just uh, uh, explain a little, more, little bit more about the uh, Al-Shabaab and Hezbollah Islam and the merger that they are talking about. I'm going to have to ask you to be rather quick, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Well, uh, this was actually co-option since Hezbollah Islam was defeated uh, in the Juba Valley, and I can say that much for now then. Okay. We'll have you back, I'm sure, another time. Thank you very Doctor, much. Thank you very much indeed.